All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, thoracic outlet syndrome or TOS. Um, you know, this does affect quite a few people. Um, one of the big major red flags that you know that you probably do got this is if you raise your arm up like this and it starts to go numb pretty quickly, okay? Uh, that's a big red flag that you probably do have what's called thoracic outlet syndrome. So here's some of the mechanisms behind it. We have the uh, cervical complex, which I mean that's where, I mean that's the part of the nerve that's coming straight out of the vertebra going up to the brain, right? Connecting it to the, to the homeland, right? But you got uh, these nerves that go and they cross right underneath your clavicle. Okay, and so that is a big choke point for uh, this this condition is that the clavicle can actually impinge upon there. Uh, these nerves also come down and become one, and then they re-split up. Okay, and so then you end up with a, a three different nerves. You got the axillary, radial, and ulnar nerve. They come out from there. Now these also can get pinched from the pectoralis minor and pectoralis major. Um, unfortunately, we do live in a digital age where we type too much, or we're doing too much for, uh, forward facing. Uh, fortunately, these guys in the front do become a little bit, uh, you know, encroached and really tight. And as a result, that actually causes that compression right there and pushes on the brachial plexus itself. So uh, that's one of, of the two major mechanisms behind thoracic outlet syndrome. Now. Uh, just saying that these are the only two things that cause, uh, you know, the, the uh, you know, or only three, uh, subluxated vertebra, meaning uh, stuff that's coming from the spine itself, or the clavicle and or the other impingement, which would be the, the uh, muscles. All three of those can cause the thoracic outlet syndrome. Now, there are two other things that, you know, are associated to thoracic outlet syndrome. Uh, one of which uh, is the uh, T4 syndrome, uh, and that is when your uh, thoracic or the, you know, the middle of your back is also having some issues, especially in the, the upper middle. Uh, that can actually translate uh, to pain and different uh, nerve pathways going up and down to the arms, and that's called T4 syndrome. It usually goes into both hands, if that be the case. Uh, also, carpal tunnel is usually associated with thoracic outlet syndrome because it's also an impingement syndrome and they, they, they're in the same family and they have the same causative factor. So if you're having numbness in the hands, uh, just, you know, just from typing or just from doing regular mundane type things, uh, you probably do have uh, probably either carpal tunnel and or you can have both thoracic outlet syndrome. So, you know, this is something that we do check here. This is something that we do correct. Uh, it's just a matter of knowing and a matter of getting your feet. So, you know, for your health and wellness, come back and come over to our, our office and we would love to help you out. Um, you know, see you soon.